Hi everyone, today I want to show you a comprehensive step-by-step -step tutorial on building a simple chat web app using Vue.js and Google Firebase real-time database with multiple chat rooms and users. In this Vue.js tutorial, we will use the existing Google Firebase JavaScript SDK that can access the Firebase real-time database. This tutorial divided into several steps. Step number one, set up Google Firebase database. Step number two, install full CLI and create FuJS app. Step number three, install and configure the Firebase module. Step number four, add full router. Step number five, bootstrap view login page. Step number six, bootstrap view room list and add room. Step number seven, Bootstrap full chat page. The following tools, frameworks, and modules are required for this tutorial. Node.js, Foo.js, Foo CLI, Google Firebase, Terminal on Macs or Linux, or Node command line on Windows. An IDE or text editor, we are using VS Code. We assume that you have already installed Node.js, make sure Node.js command line is working and can run npm and yarn command. Step number one, set up Google Firebase database. Next. We will set up or create a new Google Firebase project that can use the real-time database. Just open your browser, then go to Google Firebase console, and you will take to this page if you are already logged in using your Gmail account. For this page, click Create a Project button. To create a Google Firebase project, then it will be redirected to this page. After filling the project's name text field, which our project's name is view-chat-app. Then click continue button and it will be redirected to this page. This time, choose not to add Firebase Analytics for now, then click create projects button. Now you have a Google Firebase projects ready to use. After click continue button, it will be redirected to this dashboard page. In the left menu, choose create database. In the left menu, choose database. Then click create database button. Select start in test mode. Then click next button. Then click done button. Don't forget to select or change Cloud Firestore to real-time database. Next, go to the rules tab and you will see this rules values. Change it to readable and writable from everywhere from this tutorial only. Click the Publish button to update or save the change. Now the Google Firebase database is ready to use with your full GS chat web app. Step number two: Install Full CLI and create Full JS app. Full CLI is standard tooling Full JS development. It has the features out of the box support for Babel, TypeScript, ESLint, PostGS. CSS, PWA, unit testing, and end-to-end -end testing fully configurable without the need for ejecting allows the community to build and share reusable solutions to common needs, create, develop, and manage projects through an accompanying graphical user interface, and instantly prototype the new ideas with a single view file. To install FuCLI, type this command from the terminal or node command line. Next, check the versions to make sure that you have the latest versions of FuCLI. 
Next, create a new Fuse.js project with the name Firebase Chat by type this command. For now, use the default for every question that shows up in the terminal. Next, go to the newly created folder. To make sure that created Fuji.js projects working, type these commands to run Fuji.js applications. Open your web browser, then go to http colon slash slash localhost xty and you will see this page of the default welcome page of Fuji.js app. Step number three. Install and configure the Firebase module. We will use Firebase JavaScript SDK that available as the node module. Next, open this few projects in your IDE or text editor. To use VS Code, just type this command. To install the Firebase module, type this command. Next, create a new file Firebase.js in the src folder for Firebase configuration. Open and edit src Firebase.js, then add this imports of Firebase SDK module. Add the constant variables of settings and Firebase configuration parameters after the imports declarations. Initialize Firebase configuration settings. Export these files as a module by adding this line at the end of the file. You can find or get those configuration parameters by click on the settings, G buttons, project settings to get web API key and project's ID. To get the database URL, click Service Accounts tab and you will find this variable. So the whole configuration will be look like this. Step number 4. End full router. As you see in the sequence diagram before the steps, we need to navigate through the required pages. So we will create those pages manually by creating the files and folder for them. Next, in install full router using few CLI. If you get these questions, just choose why. Leave the question as default, then finish the router installation. That full CLI commands add a new few folder that contains home and about also added a router.js file that contains the routing for that fuse and components. In our case, the home and about the fuel is not necessary. So we have to open and edit router index.js, then replace the import of home to these imports. Change the generated routes array to accommodate the last created components. Next, remove unwanted elements from the main view by open and edit this RC app view, then make the Fuji.js templates like this. Step number 5. Bootstrap view login page. We will bootstrap view for the name, the theme or styling the UI of the chat room. 
using Bootstrap Foo, we can build responsive, mobile-first projects on the web using Vue.js and the world's most popular front-end CSS library Bootstrap version 4. Save this Vue CLI command to install the Bootstrap Vue module. If there's a question like this, let's choose Y. And question like this, leave it as default by press enter. Next, open and edit its RC components, logins, view. Then add the required templates that contains B row, B call, B form, B form group, B form inputs, and B button. Add a few scripts that contains login objects and method to submit login to the redirects to the room list page with the nickname parameter. Add a little style to clean up the view. Step number 6. Bootstrap view, room list and add room. After login, it will redirect it to the room list. For that, open and edit its RC components, room view. Then add this bootstrap view templates that contain B row, B call, B link for redirects to add room page, B list group, B list group item with authorization of room array. Add the JS script that contains data of nickname, room array, error array, Firebase real time database reference, the chat rooms document, and a method to load or get the list of room from Firebase real-time database. Add a little style to clean up the view. Next, open and edit its RC components, add room view. Then add the bootstrap view template that contains the required bootstrap view be formed and other components to submit a new row. Add the Fuji's script that contains Firebase real-time database reference to chart rooms, room objects, and a method to submit a new room to the Firebase real-time database or then redirect back to the room list page. Add a little style to adjust the view. Step number 7. Bootstrap view chart page. Now, we will be working on the main feature of this tutorial, that is, Bootstrap Foo Chat page. But first, we have to install the Foo Chat scroll because we want to chat conversations. Always scroll to the last chat message. Type this command to install it. Next, open and edit its RC main JS. Then add this import. Register that future scroll module after the full config. Next, open and edit its RC component chat view. Then add the bootstrap view template that contains a list of chat messages that iterated from the chats array, exit chats link, and the sends message form. Automatic few chat scroll implemented in the div before the list chat message. Next, add the Fuji's script that contains the Firebase real-time database reference to the chat collections, requires variables, array objects, and methods to submit a new message to the Firebase real-time database and exit chats while submitting data to Firebase. To make the chat box more realistic view, add these CSS styles codes. That is the Fuji's Firebase Real-Time Chat Web App Tutorial. You can find the article, full source code, and demo application linked in the descriptions below. If you think this tutorial is useful, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.